Hello Brady, today is a very special day for me. As you can see by the title of the video, yes, November 18th, 2022 marks four years of me researching HID lamps. And I know that this video is a week late because I wasn't feeling very good the day that, you know, the anniversary came up. But luckily, I'm okay and... Yep, I guess today's the time to actually make this video. I, like I said, I know that it is eight days late. Like I said, I apologize for, you know, not making videos, you know, for nine days straight because, you know, yeah, I wasn't feeling very good. But I'm okay now, which is a good thing. So the way I am actually going to do this anniversary video is I'm actually going to light up every fixture on every row of my shelf, except for one. So you see that 1000 watt sodium vapor fixture? That's gonna be the grand finale. So like I said, the way I'm gonna light this up is I'm going to light up every fixture row by row. So meaning that if there's multiple fixtures on one shelf, I'll light all of them up and then and et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. That's how I'm going to do today's video. So without further ado, let's see what the first row of fixtures contain and see which ones I'm going to light up. All right guys, so the first row contains four metal halide fixtures, two of which are blue in color, and then two of which are daylight white in color. So let's take a look. First fixture on the shelf, is my Sun Pulse 100 watt daylight white 6400K metal halide. I've had this since August of 2020, so about two years and three months. This one here, second fixture on the first shelf is my Yushio Color Light 175 watt blue colored metal halide lamp. This I've had since October of 2020, so I've had it for two years and a month. Third fixture on the shelf is my Venture Lighting 250 watt daylight white. Pulse Start Metal Halide Protected Lamp. This I've had since May of 2020, so I've had it for two and a half years, which is really long. And then finally, the fourth fixture is my 175 watt plus right of 20,000K blue colored aquarium metal halide bulb. This I've had since Christmas day of 2020, so I've had this bulb for nearly two years. So, yep, there you go. So, Anywho, these are the four fixtures that are going to be turned on for this row on this shelf here. And then once the video, you know, progresses, I'm going to be moving down. So we're going to start from the top to the bottom. So without further ado, let's flick on all of these four lights. Here we go. Beautiful startup sounds. I honestly really like the sounds of the ballasts and all of that on every fixture that I own. So, I'm not going to let you watch the whole startup because, you know, that would honestly be kind of boring. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video until all of these four lights reach full brightness. See you in a bit. Alright, so all of these four fixtures are at full brightness. So this is what they look like. Got a couple of daylight whites and a couple of blue BDX lamps. It honestly looks very beautiful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video once again and move down to the second row and see what fixtures I am going to light up. See you in a bit. Okay guys, this right here is the second row of HID fixtures. There's only three, so let's check them out. The first fixture on this shelf here is my Philips 175 watt mercury vapor bulb. This one's clear. I also have a deluxe coated version, but I feel like using the clear since this one's the more nostalgic type of style of fixture to hang up in your security of your house. So yeah, so that's why I chose a clear mercury lamp. And I also like, you know, how it's used and since it has a white arc tube, it's in the middle of its life. Still has ways to go. Se second fixture on this shelf here is my 
DenQ lighting, 175 watt protected metal halide bulb. Forgot to mention, I've had this since December of 2020, so nearly two years. And this one I've had since February of 2021. So the third fixture on this shelf here is my Philips 70 watt high pressure sodium lamp. So I've had this bulb since I believe July of this year. So about four months, which isn't too bad. So, yep, there you go with that. So, anywho, let's go ahead and fire these fixtures up. And uh, apologize for the, the chiming clock in the background. So, we'll just wait for that to stop. So, yep. I believe, yep, it has stopped. So, now I am going to not waste any more time. And now let's go ahead and flick on these three fixtures on the shelf. Here we go. Probe start metal halide lamps have a delay, so that's why it didn't turn on right away. Now it did. Beautiful sounding startups from these ballasts here. I mean, I mean, these fixtures are probably going to be no longer made within like the next decade or so. So it's a good thing that I'm actually collecting these types of fixtures in order to like record them as like some part of history of street lighting and stuff like that. You can see the high pressure sodium lamp giving off a really nice gold color. So, and another thing to note, the mercury vapor fixture also warms up very fast. So... Anywho, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video until these three fixtures have reached their maximum brightness level. So see you in a bit. All right, so all of these three fixtures are at full brightness. I just didn't realize that these three fixtures on this row here is actually different, meaning that there is actually one of each different kind of HID lamp which I think is pretty cool because, you know, you can actually see how everything lights up and stuff like that. Like, basically, the mercury vapor puts off a lot of green. Metal halide basically puts off white. And high-pressure sodium puts off a lot of orange, which I think is pretty neat of how it's like a comparison on this shelf right here. So let me go ahead and zoom in and show you the fixtures up close. Sorry about that. There's the mercury vapor bulb. And I actually had to put a set of uh, paper, tra uh, not transparent paper, but I had to put a lot of paper right there because that's a photo cell and I didn't want the fixture to turn off. Moving on down, here's my metal halide lamp. Let me go ahead and show you that beautiful arc stream. There's that. And moving on down, we have my high pressure sodium lamp. Look at that. All right, so there you go. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the video and flick on the next row of fixtures, which are down there. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, here is the third row of HID light fixtures I am going to be firing up for my four-year anniversary video. So let's get on with it. The first fixture that I'm going to be firing up, or the bulb in rather, is my Venture Lighting 350 watt Pulse Start UV Shielded Metal Halide Lamp. This bulb I have had since, I believe, November of 2020, so I've had this bulb for two years. Which is pretty long if you ask me. And I think I hear my furnace turning on. You can barely hear it, but you'll hear the burners. There they go. I just heard them turn on. All right. Sorry about that long delay there, folks. But since I'm into HVAC, I can clearly hear if the furnace is turning on or not. So the second fixture on this shelf here is my DenQ lighting 250 watt protected metal halide lamp. This one here is probe start. Um, and I think I just mentioned that this one's pulse start. This one's probe start. This one I've had since February of 2021. 
so I've had it for a year and nine months. And same goes for my DenQ Lighting 400 watt Probe Start Protected Metal Halide Lamp. So I've had this bowl for the same amount of time as this one here. So a year and nine months. So, yep, there you go. So these are going to be the three lamps that are going to be fired up on this row. So, um, and like I said in the previous part of this video, uh, probe strip metal halide lamps tend to uh, have a somewhat of a delay for when they turn on because, you know, they need to ignite and stuff like that. So they may not start instantly, but of course the pulse start will start instantly because it's pulse start and it requires a high voltage igniter for it to go. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and fire these three lamps up. Here we go. It was a pretty nice starting sequence and I love the sound of, you know, of course the ballast. I love it when they hum like that. So, and it was also a pretty interesting sequence too. Like, you know, the Venture 350 watt lamp fired first since it's pulse start. And then of course the 250 watt next and then the 400 watt last, which I think was a pretty interesting sequence. I mean, kind of reminds me of, you know, a furnace firing up cause you know, Whenever, you know, hot surface igniter, you know, turns on and stuff, it mainly lights the flame on the right side of the heat exchanger. And then, of course, it spreads out, which I think is pretty neat. You may notice that my 350 watt lamp is firing up very quickly. Pulse start metal halide lamps tend to be more powerful and more, you know, time efficient. Like, it takes less time than probe start lamps. So... I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video until all of I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video until all of these three metal halide lamps are at full brightness. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. So my three metal halide lamps are at full brightness. The Venture one didn't take too long to warm up because it's pulse start and it and it tends to be more powerful and it's more time efficient in this case. So. Sorry about that. Keep going. Look at that beautiful arc stream. Oh, look at that. It's actually whirling a little bit. I think that's pretty cool. So moving on down, we have my DenQ Lighting 250 watt lamp. Arc seems to be very sustained and stuff. It's not wobbling. Moving on down. We have my 400 watt lamp. And look at that beautiful arc stream. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn these lights off, off camera, and we'll go ahead and see what lights I'm gonna be firing up on the bottom row. So, see you in a bit. All right, guys, I am on the bottom shelf, ready to fire up more fixtures. I'm gonna be firing up six fixtures. So let's get started. First lamp is my Venture Lighting 200 watt Pulse Start Metal Halide Lamp. This I've had since, I believe, Christmas Day of 2020. So I've had this bulb for nearly two years. This one here, the second fixture on the bottom shelf, is my Venture Lighting 125 watt Pulse Start UV Shielded Metal Halide Lamp. This one I've had since June of 2021. So, I've had this bulb for a year and five months. The third fixture is my Westinghouse 250 watt cycling high pressure sodium lamp. So, I've had this fixture since August of 2019, both the fixture and the bulb. So, I've had this fixture for three years and three months. The fourth fixture is my Westinghouse 50 watt high pressure sodium lamp. This I've had since July of 2019. So I've had this for three years and four months. So there you go, there's the uh, bulb inside there. The fifth bulb that I'm gonna be flicking on is another cycling high pressure sodium lamp, but this one is in 
not in good condition at all. It like doesn't even sustain an arc, but it puts off a nice flashing show. This one here is my Philips 100 watt cycling high pressure sodium lamp. So I've had this bulb since I believe July of this year. So I've had it for four months. And then finally, I haven't flicked this lamp on in a while. This I've had, this bulb is a Venture Lighting 175 watt pulse start metal halide lamp. And this I've had since I believe July of 2019. So I've had this bulb for three years and four months. And it's a base up operating position as you can tell by the arc tube. So without further ado, let's go ahead and flick on all of these six fixtures and hopefully it won't trip the breaker because there are some that uh, put off high amperage like this one here. I think I'll be okay. But anyways, here we go. So as you can see, my Venture metal halide lamps are already off and running. They're nearly at full brightness. This one's about to reach its full brightness level, but it's about to cycle and turn off. So we'll wait for that to occur. There it goes. You can see my other high pressure sodium well pack firing up. This one takes a very long time to fire up. And this one hasn't even started. Because, as you can tell, like I said, before I fired this thing up, this bulb is really old. Look at that. It hasn't even fired up at all. It hasn't even sustained an arc. And I think I got an idea of how to do it. I have a plasma lamp here. I've used this thing in the past. So let me go ahead and enhance the arc this way. Hopefully that'll fix the solution. There we go. Finally. And we'll watch the I'm actually going to keep the door open of the fixture. We'll watch it turn off on its own. There it goes. Yeah, this thing is at the end of its life. It's like barely staying on and stuff like that. You can see all the sodium in there. Not even close to even being vaporized. But all of my other fixtures are at full brightness. Well, that one just turned back on. Yeah, this bulb is pretty much dead, I think. Yeah, this this bulb is pretty much down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, bulb is starting to get hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew it and find a new 100 watt lamp to put in. So yeah, I'm going to keep this bulb in my collection still, but 
Yeah, I'm gonna just get a new 100 watt lamp. Hopefully there is one in here. This one, what is this one? This one's another 100 watt Phillips lamp. And I also have another 100 watt lamp in here. This one's a Fiat electric. I think I might put this one in because this one's older and it'll eventually cycle. So here we go. Sorry that I had to switch one out. There we go. You can see all the sodium filling up in this one. So yeah, I, I am I apologize for switching out uh, a hot, uh, one of the uh, 100 watt high pressure sodium lamps because it was pretty much dying. So again, I apologize. But all of my other fixtures are at full brightness. Except for this one. Look, you can see the... There we go. Now it's turning on. Alright guys, so anywho... I'm gonna go ahead and flick these lights off and then I'll show you the grand finale. So, see you in a bit. All right guys, the grand finale fixture is my 1000 watt high pressure sodium. So here it is. The fixture is made by hardcore lighting. It's actually sun system lighting or whatever it is. The ballast is made by hardcore lighting, but the whole fixture itself is made by sun system. So this is actually a 1000 watt high pressure sodium slash metal halide fixture. I can either put a high pressure sodium fixture bulb in or a metal halide, depending on if I wanted to have it very orange or very white. But I'm not gonna use it for, you know, growing plants and stuff like that. I just wanna use it just to light up the, you know, in my studio room. So the bulb is made by Sylvania. So this is the bulb that I'm gonna be using. This is my Sylvania 1000 watt high pressure sodium lamp. It's actually an eco bulb, as a matter of fact. This bulb I've had since September of 2020, but the fixture I've had since June of May of 2021. So, without further ado, I'm going to wear this, obviously. This thing is super damn bright, and it'll blind you. So. Anywho, I got everything plugged in and ready to switch on the power supply. So, without further ado... I'll set the camera right here so you can get a good view of the lamp turning on. Hopefully you all can see it turn on. Sorry about my finger in the camera there. But anyways, this thing is super damn bright. So without further ado, here we go. Very nice startup of the ballast and the bulb turning on. So it's already getting bright in here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video until this lamp is at full brightness. See you in a bit. All right, guys, my 1000 watt high pressure sodium lamp is at full brightness. And this thing is so dang bright. You do not want to stare at it with your naked eyes. You would need some sort of welding helmet or something like that. Luckily, I'm wearing one during the production of this part of the video. So, yeah, there you go. Here's a close-up view of the R-Tube. This thing is super hot. So, it's putting off a lot of heat, too. Like, I mean... Like, it's warming up this room right here. So, right now, according to this says that it's 69 degrees Fahrenheit, but since this thing is on, it's gonna warm it up. And I might also use this as a little heating device. If I actually, if it's really cold in here, I may use my uh, LAU four bladed S series uh, fan blade. So yeah, that's what I might do with it. There's the barcode just in case. There it is right there. So yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video of my all of my HID lamps turning on for my four-year anniversary. So if you like the commentary, then 
please be sure to like, subscribe, and like, whatever. So, thank you all very much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching.